Coming up on today's edition of ICN, Rutherford County begins vaccinating against the coronavirus. We will also tell you how you can get vaccinated. The college has a new president and we will give you an update on the Spindell Streetscape project. That's all next. But first, this week's Open was produced by BPT student Alan Hernandez. Hello, and welcome to this edition of ICN. I'm your host, Dylan Henson. Just as the nation swore in a new president this week, ICC is getting ready to welcome their new president. Dr. Margaret Anunziata is the current Vice President for Academic Affairs at Davidson Davy Community College in Thomasville, North Carolina, a position she has held since May of 2017. Dr. Anunziata has been with Davidson for almost 25 years, and she has also been honored by the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society with the Distinguished College Administrator Award. Dr. Nunziatis received her Doctor of, Doctorate of Education of, for Community College Leadership and Executive Leadership from Wingate University. She will be replacing Walter Dalton, who has been the president of the college since 2013. We had the opportunity to sit down and talk with President Dalton to find out what's next for him. My favorite part of being president of Isothermal Community College is working with the students and interacting with the students and also working with a wonderful faculty and staff. Really, it's the people that work here who have accomplished great things. Somebody said, what are you going to do in, in your retirement? I said, anything I want to. I'll have uh, a little more control of uh, my time and I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to rest, I'm going to read, I'm going to uh, recreate. <laughs> and hopefully be able to co continue to contribute to community and uh, to my fellow uh, man and woman and uh, continue to, to make the future uh, hopefully a little bit brighter. Now for this week's COVID-19 update. Currently, Rutherford County is scheduling vaccines for healthcare workers and people over 65. You can visit RutherfordCountyNC.gov and click on the COVID link update. There you will find a place to register for the COVID-19 vaccine. The past 14-day positivity rate for Rutherford County is just above 18%. The total number of COVID deaths is 154. Our total positive cases is almost 6,000, which accounts for about 10% of the county's population. On the campus of ICC since January 1st, we have seen just under 20 cases for both students and employees. Just a reminder for students and faculty, Governor Roy Cooper Executive order requires all persons on campus to, to wear a face covering on campus. If you cannot wear a mask for medical reasons, you must provide medical documentation to human resources or an accessibility coordinator. In other county news, the Spindell Streetscape project continues to take shape. Last week, the final sidewalk pour took place in front of businesses on Main Street. Streets remain closed as the work continues, and the phase one portion of this project is estimated to be completed in April. As COVID numbers continue to rise in our county, the college is doing a lot of classes online. Since so much of the county is still without good internet, the, class, the college offers several labs on campus to access your online courses. Room 119 of the Businesses Sciences Building has 25 computers available. They are available to anyone who needs access to a computer and in some instances, they may be able to assist you. In the library building, there are also 25, I mean 20 uh, computers available to any ICC student. However, currently the campus library is closed to the public. In an effort to expand internet access on campus, hotspots have been placed near buildings to provide faster internet access in the parking lots. There are also 25 computers available to nursing students at the Rutherford Learning Center in room 310. The deadline for purchasing books and other supplies at Ice Thermal Bookstore is coming up soon. Be sure to have all your shopping done by January 22nd to guarantee you'll be covered by financial aid. Thanks for joining us for this edition of ICN. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ice Thermal TV, for more stories about campus and community. From everyone here in the broadcasting department, have a great day.